Hi guys, I hope you all are doing okay because I am. My name is Sagatlani Prudent Sagalisula and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be talking about the process that one needs to take in order for them to write their exams, their actual exams, or in order for them to apply for their exemptions through the Actual Society of South Africa. Now, step number one would be for you to apply for the student membership through ASA. We'll only be focusing on step number one today and the other steps will follow in the next video. So, in order for you to become a student member of ASA, you need to meet certain prerequisites. Prerequisite number one, you must have passed Mathematics 2 or Mathematics Statistics 2 through a university that is that is SACLA recognized. Prerequisite number two, you need to have at least one of the following. A bachelor's degree in actual sciences with seven with courses that are equivalent to seven of the eight A102, A200 exams. An honors degree in actual sciences with courses that are equivalent to the A301 exam must have met minimum requirements that will grant you an exemption in the A200 level exams, must have passed the A201 exam, must have passed the A200 equivalent exams through the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries, must have passed with a minimum of 65% the Mathematics 2 Mathematics 3, Mathematics Statistics 2, or Mathematics Statistics 3. Must have passed with 70% the Mathematics 1. Now that you have ticked all the prerequisites, you will need to obtain a recommendation. Obtaining recommendation differs from university to university. So depending on which university you went to, you will follow different processes. Now, if you went to a university that's, that is accredited by ASA, this is what you need to do. You will need to go to the accreditation actuary of your university with the recommendation, recommendation form obtained from the ASA and then get them to fill it or yes. So these are the accreditation actuaries from each university. So from the University of Cape Town, it is Miss Joanna de Chutko. <laughs> I will put their names here as I read them. So from the University of Cape Town, Miss Joanna de Chutko. From Stellenbosch University, Prof. Harrod Slattery. From the University of Pretoria, Miss Matley Fenter. 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 From Wurz University, Professor Stephen Jurisic. From the Free State University, Mr. Franz Koning. From Northwest University, Miss Yannette Lani. So these are the people that you need to go to in your respective university to receive or to get recommendation from. So if you are, or if you have went to a university that is not accredited by ASA, you will need recommendation from two referees. Referee number one would be a fellow member of ASA that is found in your university. Whomever there is who is a fellow member of the ASA Association at your university. Number two, uh, a university academic or anyone who is a member of a professional body. Professional bodies are things like SICA or ASA. So yeah, anyone who is a member of the professional, a professional body or anyone who is an actual academic at your university. So I'm gonna recap. If you went to an accredited university, you need to get your recommendation from an accreditation actuary at your university. If you went to a university that is not accredited by ASA, you need to have two recommendations. One from a fellow member of ASA Two, from either a university academic or someone who is a professional, 
who is a member of the professional body or someone who is an academic, a natural academic at your university. Now that you have met minimum prerequisites and now that you have received your recommendations, this is what you need to do. You will need to go to the ASA website and create or open an account, a temporary account. After opening the temporary account, you will need to activate this account. Thereafter, you will need to fill in your personal details on this temporary account. Afterwards, you will have to submit your online application. Now, after submitting your online application, you will receive an email with the recommendation form that you will have to give to whomever that you give to to help them fill it in and also a request for supporting documents now your supporting documents include a certified id copy your certified metric results and your academic university transcript you do not have to certify the university academic transcript just submit it as it is and also do not forget the filled in recommendation form once you have submitted all the supporting documents you will have to wait on the ASA for the response on whether you are accepted or not if you are accepted you will receive the confirmation letter via email as well as an invoice asking you to pay the ones of activation fee not activation fee admission fee now this admission fee varies from whether you are employed unemployed or you are international if you are employed you will pay 5200 rings if you are not employed you will play you will pay 1020 rings if you are international you will pay 1250 rings Everything that I'm saying can be found on the ASA website. I will leave the link of the website or page where I found all this information down below. Remember, your supporting documents should not be sent via email. Your supporting documents should be couriered or sent via speed post. I will also leave the addresses of where to send your supporting documents in the description below now one other thing that you need to be aware of is that there are closing dates to these applications you need to apply before the closing dates so i hope this video was very informative and i hope that you will share it with someone who need this information if you have any question if you have any concerns please do not be afraid to raise them in the comment section below and i'll be sure to attend to them as soon as i can until next time stay safe and stay blessed